Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is a Christian news show we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with GeeksUnderGrace.com, but it's soon going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. We will still have a video on Friday, but October 5th is the next Monday. We will not have a video. We will have one on October 6th, Tuesdays and Thursdays. There are some really cool things happening at YouTube.com slash GeeksUnderGrace starting October 5th, and I wanted to be part of that. And so this extra day will allow me to be over there a little bit more. I'm incredibly excited for it. And the first story of the day really isn't a story of the day. It was an opinion piece, but I really liked it. So I'm telling you about it. There's this Christian author named Michaela Kate, and she wrote an article connecting The Walking Dead with the church, and that's fantastic. A really cool point that she makes is that in Walking Dead, they need to either decide if they're going to fight zombies or each other. And the church is kind of like that. We kind of fight each other instead of fighting the real enemy. I don't know, check it out. My friend David Dorn used to do this like each and every episode and I loved it. So I just, this is really cool. Then we need to talk about Nepal because there's some unsettling news coming from there. Every religion has extremists and the Hindu religion apparently is not any different. They're called the Morka Nepal and they are telling Christians that they have corrupted the country and that they're Christian missionaries that are there to help need to leave. Now there's been some worry about this because there's this law that was passed not too long ago that was said that you could not convert anybody to another religion from what they already are at. As Christians, when we're doing missional work, we don't really have to do a lot of preaching. We're like, hey, we're a Christian and we're here to help. And people are like, oh, you're really cool. I kind of want to be like you. So they're not there to convert people to Christianity, but it's just kind of happening. But these threats could be fatally serious. We may be talking about these guys again in the future. And of course, some Christians are much better than I. Even with these threats, they're not going anywhere. That being said, prayers out to them because they are doing this whole Christian thing really well. Next up, we have an update on Saeed Abedini. If you don't know who he is, save Saeed. He's the pastor who's an American and an Iranian right now in an Iranian prison because he told people about his faith. He's been there for over three years of an eight year sentence in the most dangerous prison in Iran. He was recently tasered and beaten for a while. They were taking pretty good care of him, it looked like, but now I don't know what's happening. It's said that he is not going to free Saeed Abedini to the United States unless the United States frees 19 of their men. But even playing by his rules, you're gonna tell me that 19 probably war criminals equal that of one Christian man? Like him telling people about his faith was worse than whatever these 19 other men did combined. At this point, for Saeed's sake, I wish that the United States would just do it. They're probably not going to, and I know his wife doesn't want them to do it because she finds it disgusting, and so do the people that she's working with to get him back. I mean, this is a human being here. Using him as a bargaining chip is awful. I am glad though the United States has not dropped this. I mean, we are still talking about it. A lot of things like this, we just kind of forget and it gets brushed off to the side. If he has to stay there for his entire eight years, I hope that I'm still talking about Saeed five years from now. That being said, prayers out to him, his family, and everyone else who's being persecuted for their faith out in the world because it is not just him. There are tons of Christians who are either in prison for their faith or murdered. Keep your prayers out for him. Question of the day, Saeed Abedidi, do you think that we should trade 19 of Iranian men back for him? Or do you think we should come up with something a little more humane. On one hand, he would be free, but on the other hand, you're telling Iran that something like this is okay for them to do, and they'll probably do it in the future. I wanna know what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com for more geek content. My name is Cody Armour, bringing you Christian news every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until next week, where it'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays in a not so boring kind of way. In closing, let the haters say, love Chris Ray, and to everybody like, subscribe. I will see you later, and God bless.